And we just gave Conan a, a medal and a plaque. And it, it's really, uh, and I actually think Conan knew exactly what was going on. But uh, a dog that is very, very special. And we could maybe say, Mike, come on over. Maybe you want to say something about the type of dog. And so we're going to put a muzzle on the dog. And I thought that was a good idea, but then it gets even more violent, John. <laughs> so I had a choice. But uh, no, the dog is incredible. Actually incredible. We spent some good time with it. And uh, so brilliant, so smart. Uh, the way it uh, was with the Special Forces people that it works with, and for obvious reasons, they can't be out in front of the media. But they did a fantastic job. Conan did a fantastic job. And uh, we're very honored to have Conan here and to have given Conan a certificate and an award that we're going to put up in the White House. Mike, would you have something to say? Uh, it's uh, great to be here, Mr. President. I know you just finished a meeting with some of the very same special forces who completed the successful raid that took down the leader of ISIS. But uh, I recall, Mr. President, when you made the decision uh, right up there in the White House, yep. the day before the raid, you had talked about measures that were available to protect our soldiers. And it had been described to us about the fact that they had dogs that could go in uh, in the event that al-Baghdadi had on him an explosive vest, uh, that uh, you put the premium on the safety of our special forces. Uh, and this dog was there, uh, suffered some injury. We were able to complete the raid without any American casualty. And so I think uh, having the special forces here today, who obviously can't come out in the public, but also having uh, this extraordinary dog here today is all a reflection of our, uh, of our armed forces and the great job that they do. But, uh, Conan is really a hero. It's really a, it's a real joy to be able to help welcome him here to the White House with you. It's true. And Conan was very badly hurt, as you know, and they thought uh, maybe uh, was not going to recover. Recovered actually very quickly and has since gone on very important raids. As you know, we uh, captured 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate. When I took office, uh, we had almost nothing. It was as though uh, they were just forming again, and now it's 100 percent. And we have done a lot of work since then. We have done a lot of work since the raid. Certain things have happened that are very important. So uh, we're in very good shape. We're in very good shape. We've had a lot of help, too, from other countries. Uh, we've had a — we've really done a job. I just want to thank you all. So this is a special time for Conan. And uh, we really appreciated it. I was told about the breed. I was told about uh, Conan himself. And Conan is a tough cookie. And uh, nobody's going to mess with Conan. I asked one question. I said, so what chance with Conan — I got to see how fast Conan can move. I said, what chance would a strong man have, really strong, tough fighter, what chance would this person have against Conan without the guns? What chance? And I guess the answer pretty much was none. They had, uh, he would have no chance. So it's uh, amazing. And yet you see how beautiful and how calm during a situation like this is. And you're very lucky he doesn't — he's not in a bad mood today, Jeff. Oh, really? Not a bad mood. You're safe. <laughs> anyway, so I want to thank you all. Thank you very much. And uh, this is a great honor to have Conan here. A great honor to have the Special Forces here. There. Do you want to adopt the, the dog, Mr. President? Is Conan retiring? I love Conan's this dog. No, Conan's not retiring yet. Conan's prime time, age-wise, prime time. I asked that question. They go for about six years, like an athlete. Six years. Uh, they start. They, they like to get them at one and a half or two years old. And they'll go for about six years from that time. After that, it happens where maybe the uh, reflexes aren't quite as good. You know, things like that happen. Would never happen to us. But uh, the dog prime time is those six years after two. And they're very special dogs. They're very hard to get. This particular dog is — this is the uh, ultimate fighter, ultimate everything. Ultimate in terms of uh, sniffing drugs. We have uh, — we spent a tremendous amount of money on drug equipment at the border. And I was talking to the people. I say, well, is there anything better than this equipment? No, sir. The only thing better is a dog. 
a dog, this type of dog, exactly, because it's a certain type of dog. And uh, it's pretty amazing, but uh, they are really better. We had a case where we had drugs in a the cylinder of a car, and it was undetectable by this very expensive machinery, which is really amazing machinery. But still, it was undetectable. The dog came in, wah, jumped on the hood, pointing, you know, they opened the hood and knew exactly. It's incredible, the sense of smell, or whatever it may be, probably sense of smell. So they're incredible animals, and uh, thank you all very much. Would you say he's a very good boy? Yes, I do. Yes, of course. Well, Logan, you want to adopt the dog for Baron? <laughs> <laughs>